Welcome back to the Balls Not Court podcast. You know, the usual still here, Kevin Cortez. Kevin drank his vitamin water. No. Smart. Smart water. water. I just told you I can't drink vitamin water. Smart too many water. vitamins. Too many vitamins. Too many vitamins. Make Girl. you sick as a dog. I'll tell you what, man. If, you, if y'all seen Kevin, I'm sure y'all, some of y'all have. You know, Kevin is, weighs as much as a pencil, so I'm pretty sure why he got what sick. A pencil? Really? Dude, I probably can. Nah. Listen, man. A I'm pencil, big. a pencil. Kevin, we can make a new show called uh, Kevin Big. All right, so let's let's be real. A pencil, <laughs> a pencil. Look, just because when we're walking around we look like the number ten doesn't mean anything. <laughs> hey, slim and wide, man. Slim and wide. <laughs> At least they can see me when the lights go off. Oh. Oh. All right, Cortez is the Mr. greatest. I, I, Mr. Mr. I can fit through cracked doors. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I hid behind a fucking tree and you couldn't find me before. Sorry, guys, we do. Where we he like- at? <laughs> Where you at? I'm behind the tree. Me and Kevin do actually like each other, people. So there you are. That's why we can do this. Yeah. So don't 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 mind us. We're just like joking around. So we're we're uh, two crazy characters. But let's get back into it. Football. Where you at? <laughs> Loose mobile, where you at? That's what you do in commercial. Uh, you, you remember I hit behind the tree and you were like, where you at? Oh, uh, yeah. Where you at? We were, we're oh, there he is. You was drunk. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, other times. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Who are your week three MVPs? I lost you there for a second. Somebody uh, turned the light off. <laughs> All right. Who are, your week three? <laughs> who are your week three MVPs or so far? Just, just give me the schedule. I know. Russell Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wilson. What, what, what is what is impressing you about Mr. Wilson? Look what he did. Just look what he did that overtime drive. That that right there is clutch. He has he has it. Russell Wilson has it. Anybody always says what it is. I'm like, look at guys like Russell Wilson. Look at guys like Ben Roethlisberger had it. Uh, Tom Brady. It, where if you need something clutch to happen, these guys did it, and these guys had it. To the extent Tim Tebow had it, to where if you needed something done, he did it. May not have done it throughout the game, but once it come that time where you needed it done, he did it. Yep. These guys had it. And right now, that game-winning drive he put off on, on Denver with his legs, with his arm, everything. He had that. That boy has it. Every big play he made, man, it was either a pass to Percy. It was uh, picking the right place around his feet, knowing when to call audible for Marshawn. Um, it was. He's a smart guy that under, he, he man. understands the game, and it's amazing that he fell as far as he did. And who, but it's not really amazing that he fell as far as he did, but it, it's just amazing that he was undervalued just because of how tall he was yeah it's like that league episode the other night yeah <laughs> uh, you're a hype nazi oh uh, man i'll tell you what i'm watching russell too and you know we mentioned the elite quarterbacks is who we all assume are we're talking about rogers and he's beat them all uh breeze and one more brady Brady. He's beat them yeah, all. He beat them all. He's on the field. He has not himself. lost against the big five or four or whatever yeah, you want to call Yeah, so, them. I mean, the, the boy just got what it takes to win, so I, I agree with you. I, but he is sur- he's surrounded by – he has a good defense around him. Yeah. And he's surrounded he, – he's not surrounded by talented guys. He has a good running back – or a great running back, mm-hmm. a good offensive line, and he has one dynamic receiver but a bunch of other guys that are – that are there. You know, the roles that will just, catch. But he has that out. one guy that's the dynamic guy. Mm-hmm. Now he does. Last year he didn't. And he still managed to do what he did last year. Yeah. With Sidney Rice, for God's sake, who's out of the league now. <laughs> but he managed to do that with those guys last year. And now you see what he's able to do with Percy, who adds a whole different dimension. Yeah. But that last drive was all him. Yeah. That last drive was, was him. As much as it frustrates me, I just you got to sit back and wonder like that's that's just greatness right there. And you got to enjoy. And for all the bad crap that goes on in the NFL, he's one of those guys that's doing it right. He has a head on his shoulders. Very smart dude. Very just 
a people person, yeah. does things in the community, does good things in the community, you don't hear nothing bad come about yeah. from Russell Wilson. And that's the kind of guy you want as your leader of your football team mm-hmm. and you want to have people looking up to. To a good sense, you got Peyton Manning who does the same thing. Tom Brady does the same thing. Aaron mm-hmm. Rodgers. If you look at the quarterback position, that's where you want to have that guy who who does the stuff that other people doesn't do. And that that's how you have to look at them as leaders. Yeah. And there's a lot of good guys at that quarterback position in the NFL that are not only good for the game, but they're good for role modeling as well because what we were talking about earlier with all the bad stuff that goes on, you've got those guys like that that we can always look at as being the good guy. Gotcha. All right, my week three MVP is going to be a cowboy, not Tony Romo. DeMarco Murray. DeMarco Murray. I Man, did the beast. This guy, has got, he's leading the NFL rushing 385 yards so far. I mean, hell yeah. And it seemed like the Cowboys should have been doing this a long time ago. Run hand your the offense, ball off. Hand the ball off, then create your passing opportunities through that. I've said that a many a time. I've said that a many, a many a time about the Cowboys. They go away from DeMarco Murray when he's running the ball insane they did it all year last year and it was stupid i looked at the tv and i'm not even a cowboy fan and i'm like what the hell are you doing (laughs) give the ball to the guy running it down their throat stop giving the ball to tony romo (laughs) you are 13 and one when he has 20 or more carry (laughs) impressive right why do you keep what what game was it the denver game Mm -hmm. he was he was ripping. That. He was ripping them, and then they decided to let Tony Romo throw the ball 437 times. <laughs> Demarco Murray was killing Dude, the Denver Broncos. This guy's impressive, man. Five point five point one yards of carry, and you need to go ahead. You and- hand him the ball until he falls out. Yes. Yes. Well, the thing, especially is- when you got a quarterback with a bad back. Yeah. Exactly. You wanna you wanna give him the ball. And be able to take pressure off that because, like you see, the defense is not the best right now. You got Des Bryant, so I mean, whenever you got that, that opened up Des Bryant too. Mm-hmm. So you want to go ahead and use this guy anymore? Run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. The boy, okay. it's, I mean, it's, it hurts for once, my head. For once, we're talking about something positive, and as far as Cowboys, it, it hurts my head. <laughs> so I, that's my MVP so far, man. And he, he's he's a beast. And uh, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm telling you. It's impressive to watch. My dad is, is a big Cowboys fan. He's calling me, do you see my boy Murray? Man, he's going off, man. I told you. I'm like, well, your Cowboys ain't still going to be about nothing. But, but, Murray, <laughs> but Murray is but, about but, but Murray, Murray, Murray is Murray's about that life yeah. right now. He, he, <laughs> he definitely, he he definitely run, is about that he life. He gives no Fs. No, yeah, that boy is very impressive. So, I, you know what? Yeah, That's, he's a monster. Like you said, at the end of the season, if his team still do particularly – Pretty well. Give Murray, they could be an MVP discussion. Give Murray the football. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, well, Wilson's going to be. Wilson has to be in the MVP yeah. discussion this yeah. year. No if, ands, or buts about it. What he's done in the past, if he does what he's done the last two years, if he does it again this year, mm-hmm. he deserves to be in the MVP discussion. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's move Just this. Just a very good, heady football yeah. player. Very, very good. All right, what players are you looking forward to week four? And I already know your first choice, but go ahead and say it. Where the hell have you been, LaShawn McCoy? <laughs> Where have you been, LaShawn McCoy? Please show up and play some football. I'm looking forward to you to have a good game. But the one person I'm really looking forward to seeing is number five for the Jaguars, Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles. I want to see what he does. With a start on the road. I just want to see what he does. Mm, nice. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm telling you, man. I want to. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, as far as what I want to see, man, I, I, I want to see how, like I said, I agree with you, McCoy. I want to see what he does this week here. I want to see him show up. Yeah. It, it, it's time to see Deshaun McCoy. Yeah. Stop throwing the ball 457 times and let Michelle McCoy do because what he do. Because there's going to be a time, too, where... Where you're going to need him. Yeah, and this passing attack is going to die down a little bit. Mm-hmm. And you got one of the rest, best running backs in the game. You know, use, I know sports is having 
really break out three games that he's been in. Well, the breakout two games. The last game he kind of came out. Last game he went wall wall. Yeah, wah, pretty, wah, yeah pretty much. So. They scored all them points, and both of their running backs went wah, wah, wah. Right. So, I mean. All them freaking points. <laughs> Uh, I want to see like about. Had I want to see Cam Newton because I know he's been struggling. I want to see what he does this week. His ribs are. Yeah. They showed the thing that he had around his ribs, and it was like fifteen different layers of. Right. He had bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Uh, um, and please, man, for for the sake of guys everywhere, do not wear leggings. That's this. Do you see the thing of who wore it better? Oh yes, him and the Wayne Wade. Like, come <laughs> on, man. Guys, I understand fashion. You want to look presentable. You want to be what's in right now. Please do not wear leggings. Men uh, don't wear leggings. No. He should just wear his football pants in there. Yeah, exactly. You want to do that? Wear your football pants. <laughs> but yeah, so I want to see. Uh, I want to see what happened because I know. Did you wear your thigh pads with it or no? <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> All right, now to any player that you want to call out. Is there anyone besides McCoy that you want to call out? No, I like calling McCoy out. Okay. Because he's pissing me off. I got two. I'm calling out Eddie Lacey. Eddie Lacey, where <laughs> Eddie Lacey sucks right where now. Where have you been? I'm looking at this dude in your yards. Four. Average. Four yards. Of yeah, four. Game. <laughs> he had this amazing rookie season. Is it? Do you think it's the case of the sophomore slump? People figured him out. 36 attempts, 113 yards, 3.1 to carry. Like, this... This guy in, in, in people his figured, rest- people figured him out. They figured him out. People are figuring him out. That's I the mean, bad part about rookies. This, this is they is get what, figured out fast, right? So you got the whole Packer Nation warning, like, like they're pretty, they're, they're confused right now. Even Aaron Rodgers had to go to relax. Radio. Yeah, that's basically what he had to say on the show. Relax. Which uh, Aaron Rodgers, I know he'll get back into the game. Aaron Rodgers is too yeah. good not to get back into the game. But it, but I I don't know about Eddie Lacy getting back into. Into it, it's, you, it's weird. It is, man. I, I'm sitting there and, and 12, 13, and 11 carries is all he got. Ooh, right. And only targeted three times, three <laughs> or three and one time receiving. Yeah, he. Okay, I don't know if the Seattle game rallied a little bit at first, but you think he could run against the Jets. Detroit's got not going to sue, so that running game is, yeah, yeah, running yeah, defense yeah. is pretty soft, so you can see that. Right. Then they got. A good, they got well. I mean, Chicago's defense kind of slip off a little bit, so yeah, they have. Um, it'd be interesting here. I mean, hopefully, it breaks well, out. If Chicago's break, got a lot of people hurt, that too. So maybe he can break out here, but yeah, it's, it's so hopefully far, not. man. It's, it's oh, no, I'm not playing you. Yeah, yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah. My second player is gonna be the Marius. Hopefully, he has another shooty week, so you'll trade him, <laughs> and then he blows up That's, exactly. Oh, See, now, now you're That's thinking. Bad. You would be mad. Yeah, I would because I gave up on him too early, but I'm, I'm a little sick. All right, my second player is going to be Demarius Thomas. 